Good morning and welcome back. Today I thought I would show you guys my morning barn routine. Um, since we're in the winter time, my barn routine is kind of constantly changing dependent on the season and different horses coming in and out and people's schedules. So we are lucky enough to rent the indoor from the neighbor, but we can only use it in their off hours, which means we use the indoor before 8 a.m. and after 5 p.m. So I've been getting to work early in the morning so that I can help my trainer get on her horses before we start the day. So this is my winter morning barn routine. First priority of the morning when I get here is to feed Flower and Rex because they are the ones that are gonna go to work in the morning. I feed everybody at least some hay before we get started, but I just want to get them eating some food so they get a little bit of breakfast. Good morning. Flower really likes to eat hay outside, so a lot of times I throw her a flake of hay, and then I bring Rex in and I take care of him and soak their food, and she gets to eat some nibbles of hay because she eats hay better outside, and I can't explain that. Luckily this week it's been a little bit warmer, so the snow is starting to melt, luckily. <laughs> So, the two that are going to have to work this morning are both eating some hay. I'm gonna soak the morning grain and then I'll bring Flo in while they get to eat some of their breakfast. I throw hay to everybody else before I tack them up. I have two horses that are on sulcrophate um, to be treated for ulcers, so I also do that quickly so that they have that in their tummies while their tummies are empty and they need to sit for 30 minutes before they get any food. So um, Whiskey's meds are done and the food is soaked, so I'm gonna bring flour in and I'm gonna feed Rex, Prince, and flour their grain. So while the two that are gonna go to work this morning eat some of their breakfast, they usually, Rex usually finishes his, but Flower gets a lot of bee pulp, so she doesn't always finish her breakfast. Um, while they do that, I throw some hay to the guys that aren't getting their grain just yet. way the horses outside don't think they're being starved until they get to come in and eat their grain. Hey guys. Doppler is also finishing up a round of sulcrophate right now so I'm gonna bring him in and give him his meds and then he needs to wait 30 minutes to eat. The only downside to the snow melting is it freezes overnight and it becomes a sheet ice. Anyway, so once I give Doppler his meds, that's pretty much everything for right now. 
then I tackle both my trainers horses that are gonna get rid in this morning in the indoor he's such a good boy about his meds yes you are sorry Oh, such a good boy. Chloe gets a lot of beet pulp in the morning, so I kind of have to interrupt her breakfast, which she's not a huge fan of, but she tolerates me. Here. Back up. Back up. Oh, I know. She shouldn't eat all of that beet pulp before she gets ridden. That's why I tack her up first. Rex gets a tiny breakfast, so he'll have finished his and get some more hay while I tack her up. I specifically leave her um, exercise rug like up on her butt like this and don't tuck it under her tail until I've got the saddle exactly where I want it to be. I know that's kind of funny, but that way I know it's in the right spot and I'm not trying to figure out if the exercise rug or the saddle is too far back because it gets a little um, stuck and set once you tuck it under their butt. So once I've done the girth, then I pull this back like that. And other than her noise canceling bonnet and her bridal flower is ready to go, so I'm gonna tack Rex now. Now that I have shed my red and goat suit, hopefully you guys can see my new uh, fits full seat breeches that <laughs> I got on Poshmark. I am a thrifter when it comes to britches because they're so expensive. So it's my pro tip of the day. Thrift some nice used britches. I'm actually gonna tack Rex up in his stall because Stop is standing waiting to eat with his meds. So I'm gonna tack up Rex. We're gonna go down to the indoor and work those two. And then I will check back in with you guys on the second half of my morning routine. <laughs> So when we get back from exercising my trainer's horses, I bring the rest of the horses in for their grain and swap the turnout. And I make mashes for the ponies, the pony paddock. So I'm gonna swap the turnout and bring those horses in. And then I'll bring the ponies in and feed them and throw more hay and then I'm done with my morning chores. I usually beamer, rex, and flower while this is going on because they're good at standing and they need to stand for 15, 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes while they get beamered. So I usually do that while I'm moving horses around and finishing up. And then lastly, when I'm done swapping turnout and feeding ponies, I buck and start the rest of my daily chores.
might also move Norman over to go out with Prince because we let Norman wear him out a little bit. So once their beamer sessions are done, I do the chores in the back paddock. So I'm gonna put Rexy away. Hi. I know, he's looking for more cookies. And then I'm gonna go feed the back paddock. And then the last part of the morning, other than mucking, is feeding, bringing all of the ponies in and feeding them. So, we're almost done. Come on, buddy. Flower always immediately takes her morning nap when she comes in from work. She's doing. Sorry. Is Flowey taking her nap? Okay, I am bringing the ponies in for their morning mashes, and then I am all wrapped up with my winter morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.